This is the story of the first Jimmy, the man who constructed him and the woman who gave him life. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I know it has been a little bit of time since I posted a video, but if you did miss my last one, which was a trailer reaction for the Gladiator 2 uh, trailer, check that out if you're interested. I do have a Rebel Moon update today since that movie comes out in just about two weeks. Well, not that one, but the director's cuts come out in two weeks, August 2nd, the same day, remember, both director's cuts are going to be released on Netflix. And there is going to be that event coming up very soon in LA at the Egyptian Theater um, that includes a screening of Zack Snyder's Justice League, 300, Watchmen, and they're going to also be screening the director's cuts of Rebel Moon along with a Q&A. Over the past couple of days, um, there has been an update on the podcast that is going to be released. So let's get into that. Before we do, if you are new, thank you for checking out the channel and if you are um, if you enjoy my video and my other content, then make sure to like and subscribe and if you are a new subscriber, I do appreciate your support and everyone else that supports the channel, thank you guys too. So a while back we heard that there was going to be like some type of prequel podcast that was going to come out um, in the, you know, attached to the Rebel Moon universe and now we have some more information on that. There is a quick promo video for it, so let's go ahead and check that out. Describe the center show in three words, unexpected, devastating. Hi, I'm Zack Snyder, director of Rebel Moon, and I'm excited to bring you the new podcast set in the same world as Rebel Moon, but 500 years earlier, and it tells the story of the creation of our robots, the Jimmys. It is my honor to serve. Hi, I'm Ella Pannell, and I play Raina. I'm Naveen Andrews, and I play Grigory. My name's Alfred Enoch, and I play Adwin. I'm Peter Serafinowicz, and I play Bartholomew. Hey, I'm Jason Isaacs, and I play King Olma. Now that you've met the Jimmys in the movie, I want to tell their story, their creation, and how they came to be. I can't wait for you to listen. Okay, so that is a little promo video to give us more information, uh, our sneak peek into the Seneschal, which is the podcast that's going to be about and uh, Anthony Hopkins' character, which is known as Jimmy, the robot character that I think a lot of fans I knew was going to be a fan favorite. And if you have read the novelizations part one and two like I have, you know there's going to be a lot more about him and we're going to see a lot more of him in the director's cuts because the novelizations are the book versions of the director's cuts, which will be very different from the PG-13 versions. Netflix to Doom page gives a little bit more information about this podcast. Interesting that it's going to be 500 years back in time in this podcast. So before the stuff that we see in the films, that's when we're going to see kind of their origin of the Jimmy robots. Because Jimmy that we see in the movie is not the only one out there. There was a whole bunch of them made, right? New characters voiced by a full cast, which we saw in the promo video. These robots, the Jimmys, are robot knights basically right what the seneschal is about is long before the mother world battled the Re rebel army on velt 500 years before isa was born who's the young princess moa and its colonies were ruled over by a merc mercurial and br brutish despot the mad king ulmer despised by his people but determined to hold on to power at all costs ulmer revives the lost prophecy of isa as a balm for the masses and with it he orders a pair of renowned adventurers to build a warrior knight unlike any before. A tale of creation, ambition, faith, and betrayal. This is the story of the first Jimmy, the man who constructed him and the woman who gave him life. That's more of kind of like a breakdown of the overall plot of the podcast episodes and what we can kind of expect about the story of how, like I said, an origin story for the Jimmy, the robot knights. When will it be released? The first episode drops on July 29th. So just about a week from making this video with five additional episodes dropping weekly. So one every week for five weeks. And here is the list of the episodes below. Listen wherever you find podcasts. Episode one is an exposition of novelties, July 29th. Episode two is the Mechanicus, August 5th. Um, episode three, a wedding surprise, August 12th. Episode four is for Issa, August 19th. Episode five, the Divine Child, August 26th. And episode six, A Prophecy Fulfilled, September 2nd. So that's a little bit more information about that podcast, which I think is going to be pretty interesting because like I said, Jimmy is a very interesting and endearing character. So it's going to be cool to see more about not just him as a character, obviously, but the origin of those types of night robots and how they came to be. Now, Tom Holkenberg, AKA Junkie XL, who scored Rebel Moon, uh, both of the films, obviously, he has, he's talking a little bit about how different the rated R versions are from the PG-13 versions. I think some people are kind of getting the idea that it's just a longer version of the movies, which it's not. They We've heard Zach talk about before that there are different takes for, diff, for scenes that we saw in the PG-13 versions. The dialogue may be slightly different, 
the way it's acted is different and the tone is different of the film so yes there's a whole lot of things that we did not see at all in the pg-13 versions that will be in the director's cuts but it's also the overall feel of the movie is different so here's what tom holkenberg had to say um, there was a lot of additional music that needed to be added to the R-rated versions of the film because the R-rated versions of the film are not necessarily at all the same versions you've seen, but just longer, which is what I was saying. It's different. There's a lot of footage in both the movies that nobody has seen. There's background stories about people that were not encounter that we that we were not encountering in the two-hour versions of the movie. So there's a lot of really new material in it. It's also acted differently. He would shoot scenes that were meant for the two-hour version, and then he would shoot the scene again that was meant for the R-rated version. He really put a lot of effort and thinking into it. So again, that's what Zach has kind of talked about um, over time, you know, explaining the Rebel Moon, why there's two different versions and how they're different. It's not just longer versions with more footage. They really are different versions of, e of each other. So yes, the PG-13 version is kind of a more cut and dry, straight, you know, straightforward straight to the point um, type of version, general audience type of version. And the director's cuts are a lot deeper, a lot more layered, more characters, more backstory for the characters that we did see and characters that we didn't see. Obviously the R-rated aspect as well comes from more gore and adult content and things like that. Um, like I said, if you have read the books, then you get a whole lot more. Um, you know what you can relate to what I'm saying here and what Junkie XL is saying as well. So I think it's very interesting that, you know, they did different takes for a lot of the scenes. This takes for the PG-13 and this takes for the rated R. So that way they could portray them in a slightly different way. I heard, you know, the cast has talked about that a lot too in different interviews and things. So I think that's going to be very interesting to see scenes that we may remember from the PG-13 versions, but they feel and they're different because now it's in the R-rated version and they have a different tone about it. Or, you know, obviously some things you will see more if it's more in a, of a graphic type of scene. But I think that's an interesting way to, for Junkie XL to think about it and like, or to explain it. And like he said, there was additional music because there's a whole, a whole lot more to see, um, including the fact that they are an hour to an hour and a half longer than the PG-13 versions. So I just wanted to share that because it popped up right before I was going to film this. Give people a little bit more idea of the director's cuts and how they are going to be different, which makes sense also why they have different titles from the PG-13 versions as well. And lots to look forward to this podcast. First episode drops July 29th. Um, both director's cuts August 2nd on Netflix. And then of course, aside from Rebel Moon, the animated, uh, series twilight of the gods dropping september 19th i do believe there's going to be a trailer dropping soon for the rebel moon director's cuts i think so of course if there is i will be doing a reaction and providing my thoughts on that but in the meantime i just wanted to share those updates with you guys and that little bit of what we can look forward to for the podcast and the director's cuts but thank you guys for the support check out the links in the description if you're interested it's including for the Hive Marketplace uh, storefront. Don't forget to check out the short section if you'd like as well. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. See you next time.